Hi guys, this is how you find the area of a triangle that doesn't look like a right angle triangle. It just looks like any old triangle. So there's no rhyme nor reason, but there is two rules. You got to have two sides and one angle to use this particular formula. So we have two sides and an angle. So this is sin. We're going to use sin from our trigonometry family. And it's super easy to remember this one. I've done the first one as an example as usual. And you should be able to understand it. So we're going to do a triangle of sides 6 centimetres, 9 centimetres with an included angle of 35 degrees. Find the area, giving your answer to three significant figures. So we have two random sides, six and nine, and we have our angle. So we, this meets our criteria for our formula. So let's plug it all in like we normally do. So we have the area equals a half. Remember to put the times in, six times nine times sin 35 degrees. So all we've done is we've plugged everything into this formula. Now to break it down, 6 times 9 is 54. A half times 54 or 54 divided by 2 gives us 27. Then we can do sin 35, which gives us 0 0.574. All you've got to do then is times it out. So it's 27 times 0 0.574 equals 15.5 centimetres squared. Now, I've just broke it up. I broke the method of how I found the answer. You could, however, just put it straight into your calculator like this. And then you've got your answer. So I always encourage you to do your method for method marks purely because what if instead of putting six times nine in the calculator, you did six times five, your answer is going to be wrong. And the person marking it isn't going to understand how you got the answer. So if you put some method down and break it up like I just did, you get method marks. I can't stress how much method marks are used for getting those extra points in exams. So let's crack on and do the second one. We've got, let's go to this one. So this one, we have seven centimeters, 10 centimeters, and our degrees 35 degrees. As you can see, I made an error there. So pop it all into our formula. So we have a half times uh, a and B, it's A and B, but basically it's the sides. Call them whatever you want, because it doesn't matter which way you do it, because it's a times. So seven times 10 times sin. And our angle, remember to put it in brackets, is 35 degrees. Right. So if you're going to put that straight into your calculator, you are going to get the answer to three significant figures of 27.6, is it centimetres or metres? Centimetres squared. However, if we're going to break it down, 7 times 10 is 70. 70 divided by 2 equals 35. And then you've got sin 35 on its own into the calculator equals 0 0.788 and then you're going to times it all out so we have 35 
times 0.788 equals 27.6 centimetres squared. Okay, so this is the straight into the calculator and these are the steps to get the answer. And you need to understand that because some questions ask for proof and they will say prove that this triangle equals 27.6 centimetres squares. So you've got to work it out by using all those methods and steps. So you do need to know what you're doing. Next one, we've got 8 centimetres, 4.5 and 68. Call it A and B or you could do it either way around. It doesn't matter. So we've got a half times 8 times 6 times sin and our angle which is 68 degrees so that's it all and if you pop it into your calculator you are going to get 16.7 centimeter squared if we're working it out 8 times 6 here Sorry, 8 times 4.5. I've just made an error there. That's not 6. That's 4.5. Whoops. Uh, so 8 by 4, 4.5. So that's going to be 36. Half 36 is 18. And then we have sin... 68 degrees, remember to close the bracket on your calculator, that equals 0 0.927 and then put it all together, 18 times 0 0.927 gives you to six, uh, three significant figures, 16 centimetres squared. So they're both the same answers. But this is obviously the understanding of what you're doing. And then finally, we have half times 12 times 5 times sin 40 degrees. And if you just put that into your calculator, the answer is going to be 19.3 centimeter squared let's do it one last time so 12 times 5 equals 60 we want half 60 which equals 30 now work out sin so we have sin 40 degrees the calculator equals 0.642 Multiply them out. And we get 19.3 to three significant figures. So you're getting the same answer. And that's it. That's how you work out the area when it's just a random triangle. Okay? Just a random triangle as long as it's got two sides and it's got a given angle. If you've got two sides and an angle, you use that formula. Now, if you head over to my website, I've got this video, plus I've got a worksheet that you can work alongside. So it's got lots of questions like this. And at the end, it's got the answers. Um, so you can self-assess and practice, especially with the exams coming up, or if you just need to learn it to help with your kids. Okay, bye-bye.